Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And earlier today, I, I uh, did a video for somebody that vectorizes chimney for me. And if you didn't watch that, it's part one. And somebody commented, because I had the tree in the background, they wanted to know how I did that and cut out the, so the tree would be dis distinctive from the chimney. Well, with this is all grouped together, the contour tool work, we're gonna contour to the outside with rounded corners a quarter of an inch. And then we're gonna go to object and break contour apart. And then we can take the contour. Let's see what our, let's see how big our item is. It's almost five inches. So we're gonna change our nudge factor to six. And we're gonna take our outside contour and we're gonna move it over. And then we're gonna put the tree wherever we want it in, in this part. And then select everything I can't remember if it was back minus front or front or minus back. And that's what it did. And then you can just nudge it back over. And now you have a tree behind the chimney, but it still distinguishes the, the chimney as very defined. Anyway, hope that answered their question and thank you for watching.